Hi, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Today we are going to be doing a yin sequence that's going to combine both qigong and yin yoga movements. It's very important that whenever we do any practice, especially yin practice, that we are honoring and respecting the body. So at any time you feel discomfort or pain, I want you to stop, hold off, and make sure you're always comfortable in every posture that you're doing. Let's begin. So we're gonna start on our mat with our feet a little bit more than hip width distance apart. You'll notice here that I have a couple of props beside me to help me and assist me in my practice today. So you don't have to have a bolster of this sort, but um, if you invest in one, it's wonderful for your practice. If you don't have something like this, a pillow or a cushion would be excellent, okay? So I'm gonna move these away from my practice right now. And I want you to start your practice with your feet uh, just roughly hip width distance apart. We're gonna have our knees nice and soft, shoulders always stacked on top of the hips, okay? So my knees are soft and we're gonna connect with our breathing. So we're gonna breathe in, lifting up the palms up to the chest. And as we exhale, I want you to turn the palms and press up to the sky, looking up, right on up to those fingertips, really pushing into those hands. Imagine you're pushing the heavens up to the sky. Up, 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 breathe in. And then I want you to breathe out, relax the shoulders, soften the arms, relax the elbows, soften the knees now. And then I want you to gather that energy, breathing in, scooping up, starting from the Dong Tian, which is at the base of our spine, inhaling here, Turning the palms up when we get to our chest and breathe out, nicely out, up to the sky. Now start to draw the belly in, look up to those fingertips, push, 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 breathe in. And then exhale, soften, relax the shoulders, the wrists, the elbows, breathe out. And inhale again, breathing in, sending it all the way up and exhale here, push out. Inhale, and then exhale, soften and release everything right on down. Let's take our hands right on down to the sides, and then let's roll up the shoulders. So breathe in and out as you do this. We're gonna do it three times, so that's one, two, and three. Well done. Let's widen the feet further apart. Let's take the right hand, place it behind you in the small part of your lower back. Have the palm facing out behind you. Let's take our left hand all the way up. So we're gonna reach all the way up. I want you to turn to the left side, keeping the knees nice and soft. And with a soft bent elbow, you're going to bend down and scoop, breathing out as you do this. And as you come on up, I want you to turn the palm around, facing the ceiling, allowing the palm, looking at the hand to scoop around. Okay, and then we're gonna breathe out, come on back down, and inhale all the way back up, looking up to the sky, shoulder relaxed, scooping again. So I want you to imagine you're scooping this beautiful glacier water, you're taking it into the palm of the hand, turning the palm, allowing it to trickle down the arm, trickle down the back, and into the kidneys where your other hand is placed on the lower back. So it's very important we're keeping the knees soft, we're bending the knees, and we're breathing. Okay, so we're inhaling here on the up, and we're exhaling on the down. In and out. Let's do one more, breathing in and out. Well done. Take the palm up and let's take our hands behind us. Take one nice breath here. Open up the chest, draw the belly in, breathe in and out. Shoulders relax. Let's take the other arm right arm up and now turning to the right, scooping with that nice right arm Breathing out, inhale, turning the palm up, 
and exhaling. Try to keep that elbow nicely bent because that elbow that's bent is going to be scooping up that beautiful, clean, crystal glacier water, sending it down the arm, down the bladder meridians, down the back, and into the kidneys. And that beautiful visualization is going to help you to support any lower back discomfort. And then keeping, of course, the knees soft, really great to help that lower back and giving that nice rotation in the body. Okay, let's do two more. Breathing out, inhale, and exhale. And out, drop belly and lift up the chest to breathe in and out. Release the arms. Let's roll the shoulders out. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's take the arms all the way up. Touch the fingertips and let's dive all the way to the toes. Breathe out. Soft bent knees. Let's relax here for a bit. Releasing the neck and the shoulders. Soften the shoulders. Soften those knees to release any tension in the back of the legs. Gently breathing here, in and out. And then draw the belly in, supporting the spine. Nice, tight belly. Let's take the hands to the thighs, looking up, opening up the chest, leading with the chest here, breathing into a nice flat back. Breathe in, and let's breathe out. <sighs> Bend your knees, put the weight in the heels. Let's come on up. Breathing in, reach all the way up. And then let's take our hands down to the sides. Well done. Let's take our feet a little bit closer back together. Okay, let's take the arms all the way up. So I want you to imagine you're pushing things up, turn the palms out, reach up, 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 and then exhale, soften all the way down. Well done. Okay, so moving the chi in the blood really helps to um, uh, keep the body nice and warm before we melt into postures. Sometimes it's difficult to get right into a yin posture where we'll be holding it for an extended period of time and that may cause injury. So it's nice to kind of move the blood and breathe with it. So our first pose today, we're just going to be stepping the right, left foot, pardon me, left foot in front into a nice low lunge, okay? We're always using our hands to support us in this practice. And there are three principles of yin. It is one, finding your edge, feeling that sensation. Two, finding stillness, so with that sensation. And the third principle is time. So time for you to allow for that stillness, feeling that sensation, and most importantly, getting into those deeper tissues. So we're just melting here. I have a little timer. We're gonna start the timer and count down for a minute, okay? Just to start. When we're in this pose, I want you to relax. And if the body's feeling really good, you may take your hands onto the right side of that left foot. And you can toe heel that foot out to widen the stance. This is called dragon pose. Just gonna be here for a minute, melting and relaxing. And this is where these props can come in handy. They can, you can use this to melt and fall down so that you are softening and relaxing into the posture, okay? So for the remaining 20 seconds, I'm gonna melt here with my shoulders and arms relaxed. I'm gonna close my eyes slightly, completely and soften my jaw to relax the rest of my body. And if your foot is starting to wing open where it's exposing the bottom of their foot, then that's perfectly fine. There are no rules to yin yoga. It's about melting and relaxing. <sighs> well done. So that was a full minute. We're gonna slowly press ourselves up. We're gonna remove the bolster. 
take my hands, I'm gonna toe heel my foot back in, taking the left hand to the outside, tucking the toes under, I want you to push into the back leg, just giving a little bit of a yang energy. Okay, yang, the opposite of yin. Now placing your hands down, I want you to lift up, push up and back to downward facing dog, allowing for that nice rebound and release into the psoas, okay? So if downward dog is not happy for you, you may lower the knees and gently take your feet out and kick it out. Great. Now from here, let's do the other side. So we're gonna take the right foot in front, my hands are on the inside, the left side of that right foot. And you may toe heel, toe heel that foot out, okay? And once you feel that you are in a nice, comfortable position so that you can find and feel that sensation, I want you to try to find stillness and quiet. And then we're gonna allow time for us to melt into this posture for one whole minute. <sighs> so the best thing to do is to try to relax. And to relax, it's always best to close your eyes. And there are studies that show that if you can relax your tongue, it sends a signal to the brain to relax the whole body. So I'm gonna relax my tongue, close my eyes, melt into this pose so I may enjoy the full benefits getting into the deeper tissues. <sighs> 10 more seconds left. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in and out. And then drawing my belly in, I'm gonna slowly press myself up, releasing my prop. So it could have been a pillow for you. I had my nice bolster from Half Moon, which is an amazing company, Canadian company in British Columbia. I'm gonna move my foot back into center, place my hands down, tuck the toes under, really pressing into my heel, opening up that psoas, a little bit more, breathing. Then I'm taking my hands down and I'm gonna find myself into downward facing dog, enjoying that rebound, melting. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna come up on the toes. We're gonna to bring the knees down to the mat and let's do gentle kicks. Great, now I'd like you to take the big toes together and the knees spread wide apart into a wide-legged child's pose. So you, your sits bones are gonna be seated onto your heels. And of course, if there's any discomfort here, you will use a blanket to place underneath your ankles, placing underneath your sits bones, or maybe even underneath your knees. So you're always doing what's best for you in your practice to make sure you're happy and comfortable. So when we're in this posture, I'd like you to keep the hips rounded and grounded here before you start to melt. So we're working on our liver channels. And so that's the inside, the inguinal area of our body. So I want you to spread the knees apart, wide apart, so that you're feeling something on the inner thighs. And then hinging at your hips, I want you to come on down, rounding your upper back and melt forward. I'm gonna get my little timer here and we're gonna settle down for one whole minute. Now, if this is feeling really happy for you and you don't feel anything, you're not feeling that sensation, I want you to lift on up those hips, okay? And widen the knees further apart and then you may feel something there. Otherwise, you may want to stay taking the feet out, okay? Sinking down, melting. So it's your practice, your yoga, and you decide what's best for you. So we're going to continue to breathe, softening and relaxing my face, breathing and directing my breath into the inner thighs. So I may enjoy this stretch 
reminding ourselves that yin yoga is to affect, putting tension and compression on our joints and ligaments so that we may naturally allow synovial fluid and hyaluronic acid to flood those joints. We're gonna take one more breath here. Breathe in and out. Okay, making sure the big toes are back and spread together, drawing the belly in slowly. Go ahead and press yourself up. Well done. So now we're back to sitting with the sits bones back onto the heels. I'd like you to take your right hand down and go ahead and look to the left side, giving a gentle high five up to the side, breathing in here. And then let's go ahead and scoop, breathe out. Do that again, breathing in, lifting up and scoop. Putting a little bit of action into the body. Again, moving chi and blood after we melted in a yin posture, breathing out. Well done. Let's place the hand down, other side. Breathing in and out. Rounding and scooping through. Inhaling again, up and out. Breathing in and out. Well done. Take your hands down, sit back up nice and tall. Lift one, two knees together. Okay, now we're still seated onto the uh, sits bones, uh, sits bones onto the heels. Now for this posture, we're gonna still continue to move a little, keeping the chi and the blood moving before we release these legs out of this posture. So again, if you're feeling any discomfort, we're gonna go ahead and place a blanket underneath your ankles or between your sits bones and those heels, okay? Or in front of the knees, depending on how uh, you're feeling in your practice, okay? From here, let's go ahead and take the fingertips up. Breathe in here. And then breathe out. I want you to come all the way down. Exhale, melting down into child's pose. You're coming down to the ground. Okay, with a nice tight belly, I want you to slowly come on up. So you need to engage your belly muscles. Take the arms all the way up. Breathe in, touch the fingertips together. Now breathe out, draw the belly in and start to open up the chest, flex those fingertips out. Working on our heart, our lung meridians, heart and lung meridians. So press those hands out, good. Now palms are gonna come up. I want you to breathe in here. And then drop the fingertips behind you, breathe out, lift up the chest, elbows up to the sky, breathe in, and then exhale, breathe out. Palms are gonna come up and you're gonna melt down to the ground. Exhale. Well done. Again, slowly come on up. Breathing in, lifting all the way up. And exhale, I want you to push out. Flex those fingers, flex those wrists. Good, now from here, turn the palms up. This time I want you to take those fingertips, breathing in here behind you and then exhale I want you to push in front as though you're doing a cat pose you're pushing in front drawing the belly in chin to the chest wonderful now from here palms up breathe in hands behind breathe out inhale here lift up the heart exhale come all the way down relax the shoulders melting into child's pose Okay, we're gonna do that one more time in that exact sequence. So lifting all the way up, breathing in, lift, tight belly, breathe out, push, exhale, good. Palms up, inhale, fingertips come to the shoulders, behind the head, and then breathe, push, excellent. Palms up, inhale, lift, Breathe out, lift up the chest, inhale, lift, and exhale, melt all the way down. I want you to stay here for two whole breaths, melting the shoulders, relaxing the face. Take a deep breath in and out. One more breath in and out. Well done, slowly press yourself up. And go ahead, let's sit onto our sits bones, bring the legs around, woo! And I'm sure something's gonna, you're gonna feel that nice release 
and that blood flowing right on down, right on down to the ankles and to the knees. So we're gonna rub them. Let's go ahead and rub these knees, rub the shins, and let's rub those ankles, okay? And everyone who knows me and who's practiced with me, they know that I like to like tap on the meridian. So we're gonna have our hands in a nice C cup position. We do a tap on the outside of the legs and then tap on the inside of the legs. Okay, we're gonna do that two times. Tapping, getting the chi and the blood flowing from being compressed, okay? And now I want you to rub into the lower back. Sit nice and tall, breathe in. And then exhale, let's take nice big hands and press onto the outer sides of the legs. And then inhale, let's go ahead and press on the inside of our, um, the inner channel of our legs, okay? Again, rub, rub, rub on the back, breathe in. And then exhale, press on the out. And inhale, come on, pressing on the inside, the yin channel. Well done, okay. Now, let's go ahead and turn ourselves around. Okay, and I want you to swing the legs all the way behind you so that you're now going to be on your belly. Okay, I'm going to do a, just a gentle little back bend here. So it depends on how much your body's asking for this bend here. You can either be in a sphinx pose or you can be right on up to um, a seal pose. So this is where you are gonna know where the body is feeling. So what we're doing is now we're opening up the front part of our spine, but we're also putting a gentle compression here on the lower back, okay? So reminding ourselves that yin yoga is about gently putting stress on our joints for compressing into the areas of certain parts of the body so that when we release it, we are allowing synovial fluid and hyaluronic acid to flood those areas. So chi and blood moving to the areas to assist it. So it's like putting that extra stress and a healthy stress, so nothing too much, um, but healthy stress so that we're working it, we're exercising it. So I'm gonna be in sphinx pose to start and I'll show you here. My arms are parallel to each other and you know, I have some lower back tension, so I don't wanna overdo it. I have, um, I'm feeling something already here, but I'm gonna draw my belly in and lift up my heart here. And again, we have a minute here. So this is where you either can do a minute here, or fingertips coming a little bit higher, rolling the shoulders back and down into Bhujangasana, which is Cobra, okay? Or maybe you're gonna widen those fingers apart, taking the arms to the sides of the mat into seal pose. And in all these postures, you find the one that's best for you. Your head can be up, down, wherever it needs to go for your practice. That's the beauty about yin. So I'm gonna start my clock now. I'm gonna find myself mm, probably all the way down at the first level for my whole minute. So you find what's best for you for your minute to work on that lower back, but reminding ourselves that we're still opening up the front part of our chest. So I'm gonna focus on breathing, directing my intentional breath to the front of my spine, and then letting it travel back down through the back of the spine, right into that nice kidney spot, the lower back. Now there may be some of you who are like, all of this is too crazy for my lower back. Well, that's where these gentle little bolsters, they could be helpful. You just place them underneath and then this may be just enough of a compression. So you find what's best for you. About 20 more seconds left. And always knowing that if there's anything uncomfortable, don't do it. Don't do it. Great, let's take one more breath here. Breathe in and out. Okay, perfect. Slowly 
heel yourself off of that prop or come on down. I'd like you to take your arms in front of you and let's go and stretch ourselves into a Superman, Superwoman pose, super person pose. And we're gonna reach, reach, reach as much as we can. Nice deep breath here, in and out. Relaxing, perfect. Let's turn ourselves around. Okay, so the best way to do this is I like to just roll myself over, pushing with one hand, and now I'm on my back. That was pretty easy. Let's find our knees into our chest for a really big hug to ourselves. And anytime you hug yourself like this, give yourself a little rock from side to side. Okay, and then let's bring our nose to our knees. Don't hold your breath, keep on breathing. And let's release, rocking from side to side, perhaps giving yourself a nice positive affirmation. Okay, and then lowering the feet down to the sides of you, taking your arms out into a T position. Let's lower the knees down to the right side comfortably, breathing into the belly, into your lower back, and into your hips. If your neck says it's okay, let's turn our head to the opposite direction of our knees. Take two more breaths here, breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. Come on back to center. Let's go ahead and lower them down to the opposite side. Same thing goes with the head. If the head and neck agrees to it, lower the head to the opposite direction of the knees. Breathing and concentrating on breathing into the belly, the hips, and the lower back. Two more breaths, please. One in and out. One more breath in and out. Well done. Bring your knees back to center. Let's bring the bottoms of our feet together. This is Supta Baddha Konasana. The bottoms of the feet don't need to be pressed firmly together. Try to relax the inner thighs. Gently tuck the tail under only slightly so that you still have a little mini natural curve in the lower back. Draw the chin slightly into the chest so the neck is long. Close your eyes. If the shoulders are okay, take the arms up above you, reaching and lengthening. Breathe in here and then exhale, breathe out. Let's take the arms over to the right side. Breathing and stretching into the left side of the body, into the intercostal space. Okay, the purpose of this is to find this beautiful opening on the left side of the body. Okay. Shoulders need to be relaxed and on the ground. So I have a funky, grumpy right shoulder. So I'm going to lower my arm down versus having it up, making sure that I'm practicing ahimsa, which is non-violence to my body, and always being comfortable with what I'm doing. I want to enjoy the benefits of the practice without injuring myself. Let's do one more breath here, please. Breathe in and out. Well done, come on back to center. So your head and torso is gonna to come back to neutral. Same with the arms. Let's go ahead and raise the arms up again and then we'll extend them over to the opposite side, stretching into now the right intercostal space, the right side of our body. Okay, keeping the eyes closed, relaxing the face and breathing. No strain on the lower back, just breath, relaxation to help us melt into these beautiful yin postures. Okay, let's do more breaths here. One more breath in 
and out. <sighs> well done. Slowly come on back to center. Your head and torso. Let's bring our arms down. Use your hands to the sides of your leg to bring them together. And I'm going to take my arms out again and I'm just going to do these nice gentle windshield wipers wiping away any sort of grunties or grumpy things in our lower back and our belly. Great. Let's bring our knees back into the center core. Give yourself a big um, hug for a job well done. And then you may lower down to close your practice in pentacle pose, otherwise known as Shavasana, where you may melt, find peace and quiet, and allow yourself to soak in and absorb the benefits of your practice. So to prepare for this posture, Allow yourself to really just melt into the mat, close your eyes, soften your face, relax your shoulders, relax your back, soften your hips, relax your legs, <sighs> breathe out and relax right on through those extremities, toes and fingers. Namaste.